All right then, my friends. So now we've seen how to make GET requests using HXGET and also how to handle the HTML response of those requests to specify how the response HTML should be output. The next thing I wanna do is make a form to add new books to the list and then send a post request this time from that form when it gets submitted. We can then handle that post request on the back end to add the new book to the array of data. So then let's make this form down here in the homepage underneath this H2. So let's start with the form tag itself. Um, we don't need the action attribute. And then inside that form, we're gonna have a couple of inputs. We need one input, which is gonna be for the title of the book and one for the author. So what I'm gonna do is just enter onto the next line down here, just so we've got a bit more room and it's easier to read. And after the type of text, we'll say that the name is gonna be equal to title. And then below that, we'll say the placeholder is also title. All right, and then we need another import. So in fact, what I'll do is copy this and I'll paste it down here. And then we just need to change the name and also the placeholder to author. All right, so now we just need a button to submit this at the bottom. So let's do that button. And then inside, we'll just say add book, like so. Okay then, so the next thing we need to do is send a post request when a user clicks on this button. Now we can actually hook this up to the form submit event instead if we wanted to, but we'll be doing that later on. For now, I just wanna send the post request when we click on the button. So then, we know to send a get request when we click on a button, we can just use the HX get attribute. And then when we click it, it sends that get request. Likewise, to send a post request, we can use an HX post attribute. And we can set that equal to a URL or path we wanna send the post request to. Now in our case, that path is gonna be forward slash books. This is where we wanna send the post request to. And by the way, I know we've only used buttons so far for these HTMX attributes but we're not limited to using just buttons. You can use them on whatever element that you want, and we will be using them on different elements later on in the series. For now though, we're just adding this post request to the button, okay? Now, when we send a post request with HTMX from a form, then all of the input values within that form get attached to the request body automatically for us. So when we click on this button, it's gonna gather up any input fields inside this form and attach the values of those to the body of the request. And the name of those fields on the body will match whatever the value of the name attribute is on the input fields. Right then, for now, that's all we need to do for the front end code. So now let's make a request handler for this on the back end. So inside the app.js file, we can come down below the other handlers and now make a post request handler, so app.post. And the path for this request is just forward slash books. Then we need a handler function for this endpoint, which also takes in a request object and a response object as arguments. And then inside this function, we can now do something. So what do we want to do? Well, first of all, we want to access the request body to get the title and the author of the new book the user wants to add. Now remember, we added a little bit of middleware up here somewhere, which passes the request body for us and it attaches any fields onto the request object inside the handler function. So we're gonna access the title and the author fields from that request object by saying request.body.title and request.body.author. And we could actually just destructure both of those fields directly from the request body by saying const, then curly braces, then title first, which is the title property, right? Then a comma, then the author property, and then close your curly braces, right? And then we set that equal to request.body, and now we have those two values. Now, ultimately here, we want to add a new book object to the books array that we have in the data file. But if we take a look at those books, you're gonna see that we also need an ID property on each book. So let's just make a new ID using the math object and the random method for now. And this is not something I'd recommend in production because there is a very small chance of a duplicate ID, but for the sake of this tutorial, I think it's fine. All right then, so now we can add a new book to the data by saying book data and make sure this gets imported too. And then we can use a method on that called push to push on a new book object. So inside this method, make an object 
and add in those three properties that we need, the ID, the title, and the author. Okay, so now we're making the post request when we click on the form button, we're sending along the new book data. On the back end, we're adding that new book then to this data array. So now we need to somehow respond to this request. Now remember, when we make network requests with HTMX, HTMX wants us to eventually respond with some kind of HTML, right? That way we can then swap that into the browser somewhere, just like we did for the get request when we want to get all the books. And it's no different when we make a post request. HTMX still wants us to send back some kind of HTML that we can inject into the page as a response to that request. Now, actually, you can also send back an empty request as well if you don't actually want to swap in any new template code, and we will be looking at that later, but for the most part, we'll be sending back an HTML response. Anyway, what kind of HTML would we want to send back as a response to adding a new book? Well, in the UI, we want to show that new book in the list. We want the list to update with that new book in it. So we've got two options, really. We could send back a whole new book list template, which includes the new book as well, and that's going to replace the current list template in the browser. Or we could just send back the templates of the new book, a single li tag, which we could then append to the current list in the browser. Now, I think the second option, just sending back the HTML template of the new book as an li tag is the better option. And that's going to be especially true for really large lists. So we'll get around to sending back a single book template shortly. But for now, I want to focus on the target of this new book template and the swap strategy. So for the target, we say HX target, right? And we set that equal to some kind of selector in which we want to place the new content. In our case, that's going to be inside the book list UL. All right. So that's the target for the HX swap attribute. We're going to choose before end. And that means take the response HTML and place it just before the end of the element before the closing UL tag. So the new LI template is going to get put at the end of the list after all of the other LI tags. All right, so we have the post request now and we handled the request by adding the new book to the array. And we're also specifying where the response HTML should go right here. The only thing left to do is send that response. So then inside the handler function, after we add a new book, we can say response.send and we can invoke that to send a response. Now, I'm just going to send back a very simple response for now directly inside this send method. And then later, we'll make this a little bit better, probably in the next lesson. But right now, we're just going to use a template string to make an li tag. And then inside the li tag, we want to output the title field of the new book that we're adding and also the author field as well. And again, we'll be changing this later on, but I wanted to quickly do this for now so we can test it out and we have some kind of response. So make sure your application is still running and then let's try this out in the browser. All right, so now we can see this form at the bottom. Now to begin with, I'm gonna show the books and then when we add any old junk in here for the title and the author, when we click on add book, hopefully that makes a post request to the server. We handle that post request by adding the new book to the list and then we send back a new template of that single book. It's a very simple template for now. It's not going to be the same as these. It'll look very different, but later on we'll sort that out. But either way, we should see that book then at the bottom of the list before the closing UL tag. So beneath these two, let's try this out. Add the book. Yep, we see that new book and there it is at the very bottom of the UL. Awesome. So this is all working now.